Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo. Today I'm going to show you the difference between a determinate tomato plant and an indeterminate tomato plant and how to prune them. Alright, so when you go to the store and you buy your tomato plant, you should always look and see if you have a determinate or an indeterminate variety because that dictates how you care for the plant, what it's going to do through the growing season, and if or when you should prune it. So uh, yeah, indeterminates and determinates, what are they, what's the difference? When pruning and trimming and shaping your tomato plants, you need to keep the anatomy of the plant in mind. And there are three specific points you need to consider uh, when shaping and pruning. And that is the stem, the leafy branches, and the suckers is what they're called. Um, the stem and the main branch, the vine, whatever you want to call it, the stem, the main branch is the part that supports the plant and grows, and that's the part you want to gain height on and you want to preserve that. You want to direct the energy of the plant when it's young to uh, developing a strong main vine. A lot of guys will go up a wire and they'll, they'll trellis their, their tomato plants uh, vertically and so they'll trim off every sucker that they encounter uh, along that main stem until it attains the height that they want. The other part you need to be uh, mindful of is the leafy branches. The leafing branches come out uh, usually kind of at a 90 degree angle from the main stem and they've got leaves on them and uh, you can trim those to keep the plant tidy but don't don't cut more than 50 percent of those off but it's in the in kind of the v formed by the leafy branches in the main stem that you find a sucker and a sucker is the little part that comes out and will develop into another main branch and that main branch will weigh your plant down it will um, it will grow out into a, a big bushy plant and it'll put on fruit now, if you've got a lot of space and a lot of support, you can let those grow and you can, you can cultivate a whole lot of tomatoes that way. But if you want to raise your plant up a vine, I mean, up a, a, if you want to grow your vine up a trellis, a, a, a straight wire trellis and get height, or if you want to fill out a tomato cage, uh, what you do is you prune off those suckers uh, at least until you get to the uh, near the height that you want. And then you let them branch out, you support them, and those will bear fruit for you. So uh, what, what I like to do is take the suckers off until the plant's about half the size that it's going to get, um, that, that, I, that I'm going to let it grow. So about six feet tall, uh, I'll take all the suckers off as the plant grows uh, up to the three foot mark, and then I'll let it start branching out. After it's filled out, you start trimming for, for uh, you, you can top the plant to keep it from growing, going any further. You trim your leafing branches to open up the plant and allow airflow and sunlight to get down into the middle of the plant, and it's just a matter of maintenance. So in this video, I want to show you how to trim and care for, pinch, prune, whatever you want to call it, your tomato plants. And should you, uh, should you trim and prune on a determinate plant? Most people say, no, you shouldn't do that, but uh, I do a little bit, and I want to show you why. So let's go to the garden and take a look. This is a determinate tomato plant. It's a, you know, like a bush type. It grows to a certain height and it stops growing and it, and it puts on its fruit. And at a certain uh, genetically predetermined time, the plant dies. So you don't want to trim your suckers like this one here. You don't want to prune those off like you would on an indeterminate plant. Uh, you want to leave those there. That becomes a main branch. It, it bushes out and that becomes an actual fruiting branch and so on a determinate type, all you want to do, if you, if you do anything at all, and I do, is I trim off the leaves that touch the ground, and occasionally I'll come in and only on the leafing branches, I'll tidy up the plant and keep, keep it a little bit open so sunlight and airflow can get in there. Because if your leaves are on the ground, uh, if your leaves are touching the ground or down here when the plant gets big, if, the, if your leaves are down here, what can happen is it can, it can pick up diseases, it stays moist down here, uh, things like early blight uh, are, are easier when there's no airflow down here, and so we'll keep this open down here. But you don't want to you don't want to trim your suckers or pinch your suckers off like this on a determinate plant. And so that's why it's important to know what kind of tomato plant. You have. But on an indeterminate plant like this one. You want to trim them because see what I've got here on this plant is I've got an unruly plant. I've got a main stem and I've got another main stem and another main stem. And um, well, that could get kind of 
uh, that could be trouble in the long run because this plant's just going to keep growing until the weather kills it off. And it's going to grow tall and get much taller and it's going to grow out of the top of this cage and it's going to flop over on itself. And so what you want to do is, is guide the growth of this plant so that it doesn't uh, break under its own weight. And so on an indeterminate plant, you would trim these suckers. You would prune them off when you see one. And uh, like this one right here, you would take that off if you wanted the plant to put all of its energy to its main growth stem. And that way, once you've got this at a height and the bottom's cleared out and you've got it to a height you like, you can let some of those suckers grow because that's where your fruit's going to come. So don't trim them all. I don't trim suckers once I get the plant nice and bushy at a height that I like. But this is an indeterminate tomato. It will grow until the weather kills it or I pull it up. And it'll keep producing fruit. And that's why you want to direct its growth to a, to a strong main vine. A strong main vine that you can uh, stake up and because it's going to be heavy laden under all that fruit. Again, I'm just going to get in here, trim off everything that's hanging toward the ground, everything that's making a uh, just trying to make a main branch. I want these to grow at least at least for a while with only one main stem. So I'll take out suckers like that, which would become its own branch. I'll take off these leafy branches, all of the ones that are all of the ones that are touching the ground. We're looking like they're going to hang down to the ground. And there's all we need to do with that tomato. So that's a nice tidy plant now. This cage will help it from flopping over with that stem until it beefs up on its own. Now with bush plants, with bush tomatoes, you don't really need to shape them so much or trim them to direct their growth. You just need to keep their leaves off the ground. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, this is a bush goliath. And it's got some good stiff bushy growth going on here but you can see down at the bottom there's some uh, growth that's kind of on the ground I'm gonna come in and trim that off just that though I'm not gonna try to trim off the suckers I want it bushy and branchy um, but I'm gonna trim off everything down here that invites pests to climb up this this bush tomato plant and I'm just gonna kinda clean it up anything that starts hanging toward the ground I'm gonna come and trim off but on a bush plant it's going to grow to a certain height, bush out, have all its fruit at once, and it's done. And so I want this to be as bushy and as, uh, as thick and dense as it can be, as it wants to be. Because that's what a bush plant does. It bushes out, it gets real thick, sets fruit, and it's gone. But I do want to, in the early stages, keep the, the uh, branches and the leaves from resting upon the surface of, the, of its growing matrix or the mulch down here. I want to just keep that cleaned up a little bit. Now I always like to put on the back of my little label whether it's a determin determinant or an indeterminate plant because uh, that helps me in my pruning. I can just look on there and uh, I don't have to worry about having to go look it up in my database. So I just write indeterminate or abbreviation, whatever. And that's that. So now I can come out and I have the information available at hand. Man, I'm so humbled that uh, today we reached 5,000 subscribers. Now, I know for you know some of those channels out there that have millions of subscribers, that's not a big deal, but man, that's a milestone, so I appreciate you. And uh, I'm just so touched and humbled that you've invested so much time watching our videos and commenting in the comment section. I, I thank you so much for that. That really encourages us to do more videos and to, and to try harder to, to give you, you know, what you're coming here to see. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Well, if you haven't subscribed, we invite you to do that. And please join us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, yeah, there's your tomato plant pruning. So we'll talk to you next time on Black Gumbo. See you later. Bye-bye.